We throw away a lot of food. The average American family wastes $1,500 worth of food a year, according to the Department of Agriculture. Much of that is produce, and Consumer Reports checked out how you can make your produce last. We know fruits and vegetables are good for us, but more than half the produce we buy ends up in the garbage. What's the best way to keep food fresh and stop this waste? Consumer Reports tested seven containers, including the OXO Good Grips Green Saver for $20 and the Rubbermaid Fresh Works, also $20. Bucks. They were filled with raspberries, strawberries, baby leafy greens, and a head of lettuce. Testers also stored samples in their original clamshell containers. They were left in a refrigerator and checked regularly. The greens in the OXO Good Grips held up well, and the strawberries in the Rubbermaid looked better than the others, but is it worth buying special containers? Overall, we found that none of the containers kept produce much fresher than the original clamshells. However, Consumer Report says the refrigerator itself can make a difference. Produce that's stored in the dual evaporative refrigerator, one that chills the freezer and refrigerator section separately, lasts longer. But any refrigerator can do a better job if you store foods in the right place. The best move is to store fruits and vegetables in low and high humidity bins in the refrigerator when you bring them home. For instance, broccoli and leafy greens should go in a high humidity drawer. The low humidity drawer is best for most fruits, and some produce should never go in the refrigerator. Tomatoes do best stem side down on the counter. Keep potatoes and onions separate because gases from the onions will cause the potatoes to sprout. Bread will last longer if you keep it in the freezer, not the refrigerator. Take out what you need as you go along. It takes just a few minutes to thaw. I'm News 2's Brad.